All right, some sweet science. Let's go. Now that's how you throw a combination. Awesome stuff. Come on, kid. Let's go here. You got thirty. Let's go. Oh, good job. Yeah, devastating punch. You know, we could have... All right, let's get in there and move. Time for something else. Let's go. the legs, take them down, and get on top. All right? Beautiful speed. Beautiful. Remember, repetition is key, and it always pays off. So let's go. That's it. That's 
it? That's the way you put him on his back. Come on, keep going. 30 seconds. Good work. Now get heavy. Nice! Perfect! Now that was wrestling one-on-one. -on -one. Pummel into position, work for the single, get the takedown, Okay, come on now. Let's get in there and get after it today. Yes, perfect. Strong base, head high. I love that. Good job in there. Come on, get active. Come on now, you got 30. Beautiful job. All right, at least we now know what we have to work on, right? Good job. My clock doesn't stop until you submit him. Let's go. Great speed on that combo. I like it. The position. Let's improve that position, okay? Keep working. Come on, kid, you got to make something happen in there. Beautiful combination, I love it. Keep it up, put the pressure on him. Don't stop now. 30 on the clock. Oh! You know we could have done a little bit better. 
But we could have done worse, too. Leather today. I'll call it out, you throw. Trying to win the belt. Come on, thirty seconds left. We're gonna time the shoot and get the takedown. Shoot and get that takedown. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Combination, I love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. Excellent. Come on now. Got 30. Good level change. So how was that? You feel good? Way to keep working for that takedown. Single, double,
right, coming up next, it's a UFC Heavyweight Showdown. So another big spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight. And the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mat. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, you put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and he'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, the Executioner. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer holding a professional record of 13 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Surreal Bongamagan! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? All right, here we go with round one. His knockout streak really has been the stuff of legend. Knocking out. Oh! Big combination. Oh, that is tough to beat his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Katie Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has to cover her very badly. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing Oh, yeah. that'll do it! Do you believe it? Yo, wow! That was nasty! Woo! Yes, sir, it goes into the books as a first-round win by knockout, near-perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit. Those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 14 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the executioner. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands, that puts out your opponent's lights. 
And tonight he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.
All right, some sweet science. Let's go. Seconds left. Time to burn and get after it. Here we go. Nice. Keep going. Great, next one. Pack the legs, take them down, and get on top. All right? There we go. He can't get in on you. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Yes. Let me see those combinations. Good job. I love it. Good combination. 
in. Love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. We got 30 seconds. Let's go. Good? Heavy bag drills. Listen for my call outs. Next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Come on now, 20 seconds. That's what I like to see. Good, clean. A lot of technique and more hard work. That's what wrestling is about. You ready to work? Let's go.
listen, you keep training like that, and no one will catch you. Yep, just like that. Seconds left. There we go. That's a combo. That was nice. I like the way you drove from the hips and ex. One on one. Let's pummel and get that position. Once we're close enough, take down, then control. Settle down there. Let's work. Don't let them scramble. I love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. Let's get after it. All right, 30 seconds left. Control that. Yes, let's keep that up. Hey, don't worry about it. We'll get better. Coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Division Collision.
bonuses and the accolades have continued to pile up for one of the best heavyweights in the world, Stipe Miocic, and rightfully so. Of course, who can forget when he breasted the belt away from Fabricio Verdum in Brazil at UFC 198. And then what he did after the fact against Alistair Overeem and Junior Dos Santos put him on a pedestal as truly one of the best heavyweights of all time. And it should, because when you have those types of names on your resume, you will be considered one of the greatest fighters the division has ever seen. Stipe has the ability to win fights in a number of ways. Unbelievable boxer, has great footwork, but also was a division one level wrestler right. at Cleveland State University. Fights fires pretty well too. He's really good at that. Yes, I went to the firehouse and it's intense as it comes. All right, so another big spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight, and the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling match, and even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, you put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and he'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Miocic is 13 years the elder. He will have a six-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 22 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Independence, Ohio, Steve And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, the Executioner. And when the action begins, I'll be in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. All right, ready to go here for round one. This is a devastating knockout force of the highest order. Look at the highlight reel. Starting to compete with some of the best we've ever seen in the UFC. The majority of his recent wins have come by knockout, and that's why he's on the cusp of contention. Tonight in his highest profile spot to date, and he'll try to register another KO. And Whoa! Is right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, stacked guard here, DC. The feet are on the hips. What does that mean? I mean that he's out. I mean he's out. That'll do it! And that's going to do it! if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Let's go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at one minute, 31 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the executioner. Right, so they're man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And it had to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public, tonight he did exactly that. 
Congratulations.